YouTube, it's your girl Ching, and I'm back again with another beautiful video for you guys. Today I'm gonna to be showing you ladies how I changed my old, ugly, crusty, muggly, dugly lashes. Um, it's, I'm gonna show you guys how to clean your lashes, that way they can last like a couple weeks longer, or you can just keep recleaning them. A lot of people spend a lot of money like on the mink lashes, but this is a basic, Ardell pair of lashes, like my favorite kind that I wear all the time. And I'm just gonna show you guys how I clean my lashes. Um, so yeah, a few things you're gonna need for this video. A pair of tweezers, of course your lashes, some type of container that can hold water, so like this is what I'm using, just so you guys can see, you know, the process and stuff. You're gonna need a spoolie so that you can comb the lashes out. And yeah, some type of dishwasher liquid, some type of soap, it could be hand soap or like detergent for your dishes. So yeah, let's hop straight into this video, guys. Okay, first things first, guys. We need some lukewarm water. You're gonna need your container that's gonna hold your water. So what we're gonna do is, I have this kind of soap. I'm gonna drop a little bit of that into here. Not too much. As you guys see, so that about that much. So I let it get lukewarm, then add a little bit of water to your, your container. And I'm just gonna like, you know, swish it all around and make sure it gets all through the water and it gets all soapy. You just kind of want the soap to dissolve into your water. All right. Okay, guys. Now that we have our, you know, our lukewarm soap water just sitting, we are going to take the lashes. Okay guys, so we have the lash here. And we are going to take our tweezer and we're going to remove as much glue that you see on there as possible. You wanna hold it nice and firm. As you can see that glue is just coming like right off. Cause I use um, hair glue. That's what's better for my eye. So as you guys see, there is still glue on there. It's just not much. So after that, I'm going to take the lash put it in the soap water and let it sit. But right now I'm gonna do the other one really quickly. The reason you're, you wanna really hold it firm is because you don't wanna accidentally pull any strands out of place in the process of pulling the glue. Just get as much glue off as you can, that's all. So I've got pretty much all of it off. You see this lash is, it looks pretty much ruined. <laughs> Look at how the lash looks, it looks horrible. So yeah. So now I'm gonna add this one to the water as well. So now guys, I'm gonna let it sit in the water for maybe 10, 20 minutes. And then I'll come back to start the next process, guys. Okay guys, so I'm back and it's been about 15, 20 minutes. And as you can see, all of the dirt has come out of the lashes. This hat came from the mascara wand. I kind of just cleaned it out, you know, so that I'll be able to use it. But as you see, the lashes kind of reverted back to the curly pattern that they used to be before, you know, I flattened them by an accident and used them to death and disturbed them. So yeah, now we're gonna take the lashes out of this water. I'm gonna remove one lash at a time from the water. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna remove one lash at a time from the water and I'm going to go along this lash one more time and try to get the extra excess glue that may have been inside the strands. Usually when it's wet, if you pull it, it'll just come right up. I'm 
Well, I got this lash pretty much clean, guys. It's pretty much clean. It's like there was never any glue on it at, at all. So I've got this, this lash pretty clean. And now I'm going to pick up my other lash and do the same exact thing. Okay. Yep, I got them nice and clean now. The strip, the lash strips are both really clean and nice, clear. No glue on them. Nice and clean. So both of them are great. Now I'm just gonna rinse the lashes out with water on my palms of my hand. So guys, now I have the lashes on the palm of my hands. And now I'm just gonna take my spoolie and kind of brush the hairs in the direction that they should go. Once I do that, I'm gonna sit them down on the surface. I'm gonna let mine dry on a napkin, guys. And I'm also gonna show you this, okay? So I kind of put it in my finger and brush it out a little bit so to keep that curl that it normally had. But I kind of like it when it's not as curly, so pre-washing them is okay for me. So yeah, let me show you what they looking like because they looking revived. All right, hey, I'm at, I rhymed y'all. <laughs> so now guys, just as a, you know, a reminder or just to re-sculpt them once again while they're down, I'm gonna hold them and then curl the wand up or whatever. The way that I would like my lashes to dry. And this natural pattern is pretty curled up, so. So guys, this is what they look like which is a heck of a difference from the beginning, right? And they are still wet, so they do have to dry. But for the most part, you see, these lashes are revived. They have a nice natural pattern that they came in. Really pretty, clean, ready to install. So I'm gonna come back one more time, guys, to let you see what the lashes look like while they're absolutely dry. All right, guys, as you see these lashes, they are approximately 80% dry. You see they're starting to thicken back up. And yeah, guys, I won't be able to show you guys the lashes once they are completely dry because I have to leave. I'm closing down this door now and I'm going to leave these here to dry. But they're about 80% dry. And I'm sure you guys can see a major difference, the lift in the lashes. The curve, the definition. They aren't all flat. For the most part, all of the lashes are going the same direction. But yeah, guys, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Just show you how to clean your lashes real quick to be able to reuse them. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy, and I will holler at you in my next video. Bye bye.